right. If we all brothers and sisters, we can't do nothing but help one another. Because you're supposed to help your brothers and sisters, you'll help nobody else. Amen. That's right. But y'all can't get beyond your fraternal family so you can enjoy your spiritual family. Walking in the clouds. You got to let them know that grace is nothing to look forward to. Grace is working in their lives right now. And you have taken it. You, you put your faith in grace. Meaning you know grace is working. Now you got to let everybody else know. God ain't forgotten. Amen. First thing I get to the, we go feed the homeless on, on, on um, on second Sunday. Anybody know the first thing I tell them? God has not forgotten. Amen. Yes, that's right. He ain't forgotten. You ain't been set up by the devil. Oh, yes. You've been set up for your blessing. Yes. God ain't forgotten you. Mother Mary, God ain't forgotten you. Sister, he ain't forgotten you. Deacon Richard, I belong, I belong at all. He ain't forgotten you. <laughs> <laughs> See, God know what he was doing. God ain't really want to, God said, I'm going to punish you, but still make you work. So he, he, he broke the one that he couldn't drive. He ain't he, he, he break the one he needed to drive. <laughs> he broke, he said, I'm going to punish you and make you work. Hey, that's the, I'm about to not punish you and making you work. Hey, hey. So Sister Pam, he ain't forgot you. Hey, Ebony, he ain't forgot you. My brother, he ain't forgot you. Late lady, he ain't forgot you. Sure ain't forgot you. Praise the Lord. Pastor, Robert, Amen. Lady Moore, Amen. Deacon Will, don't worry, my brother, he ain't forgot you. Right. Missionary Val, yes. you might have forgot, you might have forgot shit, but he ain't forgot Val. <laughs> Amen. 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 Walking in the clouds. Take this word. And I don't want you to, you ain't got to do nothing. But have confidence that what God said through the man of God today, man said by God, it's real and it's the truth. Meaning, I ain't got no business word. Whatever I'm going through, I don't want to go through. This two shall pass, one way or the other. Huh? And the sooner I behave as if it's not even happening, the sooner it will go. Because when the devil knows he has no effect on you, he leaves you alone. My, my granddaughter, don't no talk me that. KK talk me that. KK is an aggravator of aggravators. And as long as you let KK know she, I, I'm giving y'all a secret now. As long as you let KK know she aggravating you, buddy, she can ride you out. You better learn to achieve with your mama like that. We had to learn to ignore. You can't tell her to stop. She'll stop for the moment, but it's going to be worse the next time. But when you start ignoring her, she grows up in the moment. But as long as you let her be a little girl, Y'all will get rid of it. That's all I gotta tell you. But if you ignore what she's doing, she'll grow up. Once she grow up, that's right, right before y'all. She'll stop. She was like, she used to come when, when I be watching a football game. And she just stand right in front of TV and, and talk to you. And uh, it, I like she doing something. You better not say. Move. Not a conversation been to get long. Why I gotta move? You work, you love a game more than you love me standing there right in front of the game. But if I just ignore her and I like I watch the game to her, she walk away. And that's what the devil does. Just explain the As long as y'all give him attention, he know he can't go to the clouds and you can. And he's trying to keep you from going there. That's good. Because yeah. when you go there, he knows you're going to come back and God's going to give you something that's going to make somebody else victorious over them. Uh -huh. He don't want y'all going there. But y'all keep giving him attention. Y'all won't ignore him. Ignore him. And sometimes he comes to the form of people. I got you real good, then. <laughs> ah. Always good. <laughs> there you go again. He told him, that man's so wrapped up in the spirit, he don't even know I'm talking about spit. 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 I'll be spitting on you on this front row. <laughs> 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 so the man said on the second row one time, she said, I gotta go back. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said that one time, she said, I gotta go back. Lord, I'm tired of you. Y'all hear this? Just 
ignore him. Because <laughs> what I found out, anything the devil got something to do with, and that's the earth. Amen. It ain't real. It ain't going to last. A relationship, people got married because of the physical, it ain't going to last. That's why in the old days they would they would be together for a year in, as an engagement to get, get their spirits connected and not their bodies. We might need to go back to that. I might, I might, I might, I might try six months and then I then 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 you know. But y'all hear this? You gotta get your spirits connected. Anything put together because of physicality. Ain't gonna last. And I ain't just talking about body physicalness. I'm talking about what I can do for you. Oh, he got a nice car. Oh, she got a nice body. What you doing if they, they, they repo the car? What you doing the body ain't shaped like that, that Coca Cola bottle no more? Y'all got what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> you know <laughs> She said she just got nice instead of Coca-Cola bottles so about Coca-Cola leader. <laughs> you, better, you better learn how to love the leader like you love the bottles. Oh, 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 oh. I love my leader, I promise you. I promise you. I love my leader. I like the, I like the way it's packaged. Perfect. She ain't perfect, but she's perfect for me. Amen. That's right. Amen. She ain't perfect, but he's perfect for you. God said, when you stop complaining, because I promise you, God ain't like this. He gonna just let you whine to him. He said, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to answer your call. Mm. Mm. I don't need to complain. I need to know that you got you, your faith. You have faith and grace. In other words, I want you to come here appreciating the grace that I extended over your mistakes. Faith and grace. I can't help but serve God. I done made so many mistakes. But God elevated me in the midst of my mistakes. He kept me in a place of, of, of comfort beyond what I ever thought I could be because of my mistakes. In the midst of my mistakes. I came, I grew up in this, this neighborhood right here, two streets over. I was just like everybody else. Boy, when I get grown, I'm getting out of this neighborhood because it's amazing why when, you, when you're little, you think it's the worst place in the world. When you get grown, you, you think about how the kids don't play no more and how, how the streets used to be running with kids and everybody knew everybody. Her mama could beat me and my mama could beat them. All that we were one big family in the neighborhood. You missed that. Yes. I wish you would. This is what I understand. When we were little, a grown-up better not tell you had to be nice to grown-ups. You hear what I'm saying? You didn't even want to make a, put a grown-up in a position to lie on you. Because mama was going to believe that lie. So you had to be extra nice to grown-ups. If the grown-ups said it, you wasted talk to this man. That's right. Am I right? Amen. We need to get back to that. Amen. See, we don't make the respect adults. We don't. But if you tell them if a grown up say something to me that you are out of order, I promise you they'll be better. They'll be better. I promise you. I promise you they'll be better. Right. But see, it takes a cloud experience to know this because it takes trusting God. Yes. Because God told you, you can't raise a child. 
It takes a village. That's right. It takes a village. It takes a village. And you know what I understand? Kids, you can tell these, these millennials and the 90s babies. You know why? They didn't respect nobody, but they, when they get grown, they want to be respected. Amen. Amen. You can tell them, yeah. you know, the, the people from, the, from our generation, we don't worry about no respect. We just thought they came with being grown. But the millennials of 90 babies, you gonna respect. Them 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 What they call them, them, them the Pokemon. Them the Pokemon. Well, you hear me? Oh my God. Praise the Lord. God is good. I'm rambling right now, but I thank God for you. I'm gonna be blessed today. Y'all ready to go to the cloud? Yeah. Did you tell the truth about who you hated? Tell the truth. Yes. Yes. Did anybody have at least one person on this list? Raise your hand. She tried to throw up two hands. She's like, she's like, she's like, she like, she like, she like, can I raise two fingers? Anybody told the truth about who they hated? Amen. I don't hate nobody, but I just don't like You can't get to. God itself through Jesus. Amen. You can't get the love itself through life. Amen. You see, liking is acceptable. I don't hate nobody. I just don't like the name. There you go. You're the same way. Okay. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm glad you said that. God's being rich. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm going to show you something. I'm glad y'all said that. If I don't like somebody, what's the only way I'm going to change it? Because love means God is working on them. Amen. See, if I don't like them, that's even more reason to love them. Y'all see that? So even if I don't, even if I don't like somebody, that's even more reason to love them, so they can change. Because I can't change them. Y'all see that? That's even more reason to love them. If I don't like them. God, this is so good. I mean, I mean, I say go home. I, I want to go to sleep right now. Everybody blessed? Yeah. Yeah. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. 